Hi guys, so today I wanted to jump on here and do a first impressions of some new products that I bought. Um, so if you want to see my thoughts, my first impressions on some of these new products, just stick around. Okay, so the first new product that I want to try with you guys in this Get Ready With Me is the new um, Flower Beauty In Your Prime Illuminating Primer is the shade PR4. It's supposed to illuminate, blur, and it's supposed to make your makeup long wearing. So let's give it a go. <clears throat> so this is what it looks like. It's just a regular clear um, primer. Interested to see how it's going to illuminate and lessen pores. I don't want to put too much on just because it's a new product. Let me bring my mirror a little bit closer and put this on. Um, so it does look a little like illuminating a little sparkly. Hmm. It's tacky. Hmm. Okay, well. We'll see. I'm not noticing any pore shrinkage. It is slightly illuminating, so we'll see. Um, next, I'm just going to throw on some of my LA Girl Pro concealer in green just because I've got some redness going on that I want to get rid of. So I'm just going to dab it like in all the areas where I see the red. And as soon as I set this, I'll be right back. Okay, so the next new product that I want to try with you guys that I'm, I'm really excited about is the... Flower Beauty Foundation, and I got this in the um, shade LF4. This is supposed to be a medium coverage, and um, I hope I got the right shade, because I'm horrible at shade matching myself by just looking at it, because sometimes you put it on your skin, it's too light. Sometimes you put it on your skin, it's too dark. But here's hoping I got the right shade. So it just has this cute little pump on it. Let's shake it up, and, oh, <clears throat> it's a little greasy. Can you see the grease on it? Mmm, I wiped that off. Maybe it was just because it was the first pump that I didn't shake it good enough. Shake it up. Let's try that again. Oh. Look, can you see the grease in it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this. Look at that. It just looks like oil. All right, one more time, one more time. Shake it up really good. Oh my God. Okay, this is the third time that I've shaken it up. Oh, can you see that? Look. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to hope that I got a bad batch. But I'm not putting this on my face. Nope. No. No. Uh, I'm going to actually return this and try a different one. I'm not going to put this greasy stuff. So Okay, so the flower foundation for me, after even attempting to shake it three separate times, was just way too greasy, and I did not want to use that on my face, just because I'm afraid that throughout the day it's going to look like this greasy, sloppy mess. So I'm going to actually return it and get a different color and see if it's with all of the colors. Or maybe I just got a bad bottle. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and use my Amazonian Clay by Tarte Foundation real quick. 
So while I put this on, I'll be right back. All right, so now that I am almost done patting in my foundation here, you know, guys, I'm really upset about how greasy that one was. I really wanted to do a whole video using new products, but it doesn't look like that is going to happen. So it's going to be some products. So this one feels a little tacky, but I'm going to set it in a second. But first, I'm going to go in with my Shape Tape by Tarte. And this is in medium. Again, I am so horrible at shade matching, but when I was online, they didn't have my shade. So I said, you know what? When I go into Ulta, I'm going to pick one up. Ulta always has all the shades and everything. And of course, they didn't have my shade, and I really wanted my shape tape. So I just picked up the medium one. I mean, it's not too, too light, so that's a good thing. Also, I'm using my flower sponge. This has been my go-to sponge. I absolutely, absolutely love this flower sponge. I mean, it goes from this teeny tiny sponge to this big, giant sponge. And it doesn't absorb all of the product that you're putting on your face, which is lovely because you want to keep that product on your face. So I'm sorry that I keep looking away. I'm just trying to look into my my mirror over here. And if it's in your face, I'm sorry. So I'm going to just, because this foundation is just a little sticky for me, I'm going to actually open up this new Maybelline Fit Me. And I just want to set my face with this real quick. I really, really love the Maybelline line. I mean, a lot of their stuff has been hit and miss, but for the most part, a lot of it has been hit. And I love the Fit Me foundations. They have long coverage and you don't see fine lines and all that fun stuff, which is always good. You know what? I also haven't been setting my under eyes with the, um, like the baking powders and stuff. Because I feel like lately sometimes they make my eyes look way too white. And they say that they're translucent powders, but the few that I have tried so far... They haven't been translucent. Under my eyes look like Casper the Ghost. No matter how I wipe it off. So I've just been basically setting my whole face with the Maybelline lately. Okay. So I'm going to bronze my face really quickly with my Kat Von D Shade and Light. And... I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I finished using my Shade and Lights palette, this next product is new, and it is by Flower Beauty, and it is the Flower Pots blush. It is such a pretty pink, and it is supposed to be a soft satin finish, easy to blend, and blendable color. I'm really nervous, just given the fact that the last one but the foundation was greasy. So let's take this guy out. Let's see. So the packaging is absolutely cute and adorable, as always with all the flower products. And it has the little flower on the inside. Let me give this a swatch first before I try it. So, I mean, it's, it's a light pink, so. All right, guys. Let's give this a try. I'm a little nervous. Swoosh it around in here. You guys like my Lisa Frank brush? Come on. You guys know who Lisa Frank is, right? Hmm. What do you guys think? I'm not 
hating it. I'm not hating it. I'm really not. I just want to blend it out. Just a little. I'm not hating it. No. Actually, you know what? I don't know if you guys can see if the camera is picking it up. But I like that. It's very, it's very light. It's not a drastic crazy blush. Eh. Eh. I approve. I approve. The next thing that I'm going to use, I'm so excited, is the new Wet n Wild Highlight Palette. Um, I think I am going to use this shade right here, which is Sweet Peon. So let's, let's give it a dip. Can you see that? Holy shit. Okay. I got it in my hair and everything. Look at that. That is pigmented AF, people. Oh, Lord. Oh, my goodness. I really like that. God, that highlight is beautiful. Wet and wild. Wet and wild, you slay my life. So, real quick, I am going to do my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow, and I will be right back. Okay, so now that my brows are done, and this one wants to look like the ugly stepsister, we're just going to leave it alone because I don't want to mess with it too much. I'm trying not to wax my brows or anything like that. I'm trying to let them grow out. And this guy wants to be the ugly stepsister. So she could be the ugly stepsister all she wants. We're just not going to pay her no mind. The eyes today, I decided I was going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe. Just because I have to be honest, I love this palette. I really, really do. The colors in here, I really wish it came with the insert with the color names, um, but it doesn't. But just all these colors in here are so amazing. The blendability on here is unbelievable, and the pigmentation in these is amazing. So I think that for my all over shade I'm going to take this color right here don't know the name of it because it doesn't have any insert I know some of the palettes came with with inserts but mine did not so whatever we'll just wing it so I'm just gonna slap this on real quick right all over my lid just because I want my colors to stay and this one matches my skin Perfect. And again, I have no idea what colors and what shades I'm going to pick. I am totally winging this. Winging this, people. This shade right here. And put that inside of my crease. And there is fallout with, with this palette, but that's okay. You know, I hear so many people complain about fallout. But, honestly, Fallout does not bother me. If the product is good and the product is worth it, then who cares about Fallout? Fallout is okay. I think this color is a little bit light. What do you guys think? For a crease? Hmm. Let's go over it with this guy right here. This one. It's because I feel like it's a little light. So let's just add some of this guy in there. Hmm. 
I'm always blowing on the fucking wall out. Whatever. Yes, much better. It's a little deeper. I just didn't want my crease color to be so, so light. Okay, so I think I'm going to take just a little bit of the shade for my brow bone. I'm going to do that now really quick because I always forget to do my brow bone. And then later on, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh, great. You forgot to do your brow bone. So we're just going to put that into the brow bone. This is such a pretty color. It's like a champagne -y color. Then I think I want to take this color right here. As you can see, it has a dip because I just, I love this color. And I want to put that in the corners, the outer corners of my eye. Just right here. Just to deepen and darken it right here in the corners. And I know it looks crazy when you first put it on. Like a sloppy mess. But when you blend it out, it won't. And this brush is the ColourPop brush. Holy crap. I've been loving the ColourPop brushes that I've recently got. They are amazing. So I'm just going to continue to put this here in the crease. And what are we going to do? We're going to blend. I really do like this palette. It, it, it has so many colors that you can do multiple looks from. You can do bold and bright looks. You can do very light, easy, quick looks with, and you could also do very drastic smoky eye. It's just so pretty, this palette. Really, it really is. So what I did to this eye, I'm going to do to this eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that the outer corners of my eyes are done, I don't know what color I want to use on my lid, there's just so, so many. Do we want to do blue? I don't know. You know what? I am going to take this color right here and put that on my lid. And again, this is just the new ColourPop brushes that ColourPop just came out with. Loving them. So I'm going to place this right here on my lid. And I'm going to blend it in very lightly to the outer corner color so that we don't have any harsh lines. Now, look at this color. It's so pretty on its own, but I have before wet it, and it is amazing wet. You know what? Let's, let's wet it. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to wet my brush with some of my Flower Beauty Setting Spray because that's all I have right here. That stuff smells so good. And then we're going to put it on while it's wet. Oh my god. Can you guys see that? I have to blend it. Don't mind it. Don't judge. Can you guys see how pretty that color is? Wow. Okay, so again, I think for my under eye, I'm going to take this same color that we used in the corners, and I'm going to just mix it a little bit with the, the darker brown that's next to it, just to kind of smoke out the bottom lashes. Not the lashes, the bottom line. The bottom of my eyes. Next, I want to use my Rimmel Exaggerate. I just want to tight line my 
eyes really quickly and I want to do the lower eyes as well. So the next one I want to try, which the packaging said new, but I don't really know how new it is. And this is the Zoom In Ultimate Mascara, also by Flower Beauty. And it has like this clicky thing, twist three in one. I don't, I don't know what to do with this, but. Ooh, it smells very chemically. That is the brush. Oh, okay. So you basically twist this here, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but it makes the brush thinner and thicker. So let's just leave it where it is and give this a go. I mean, it does smell chemically, so I hope that it doesn't irritate my eyes. did give them some volume but not too much let's see if I click this and make it come out more if it makes a difference on this side my eyes are burning a little bit uh -oh. and if you guys hear that banging I'm sorry that's just coming from outside Well, this one, when you when I clipped it and made it thicker, the brush, well, I think it really made too much of a difference. Let's put another coat on. I mean, I'm not hating it. I mean, they look nice. I'm just, I don't know. I'm not loving it, not hating it. Of Flower Beauty is... Drew Barrymore and the whole product line is made and created by her. I'm just gonna do my lower lashes real quick. I mean I'm not there she is. Here are those lashes. Hello lashes. Okay, so looks much better. I I think this side looks more better than this side. This one I used with the smaller um, twisty part. This one I used with the longer twisty part. And I just think the smaller one looks better. Just really quick with my Flower Beauty setting spray. This stuff just smells so amazing. And lastly, the one other new product that I want to try is this shade right here from Flower Beauty and this is in the shade Fig Frenzy and it has just a very small thin dofa applicator like all the other ones and let's give this one a go. Like, look at the inside. It looks much darker. Let's put a little bit more on. Ah. There she goes. Hello. Wow. I really like this one. Um, it's very soft. It's very creamy. It is in the color Fig Frenzy. From Flower Beauty, in case I forgot to mention that. I'm just looking. They don't your lips don't stick together. And it you could feel it drying. And it feels hydrating on your lips. So all in all, the foundation was a fail. 
and everything else was pretty good, pretty decent. I, I really do like it. Um, I'm going to mess around with the mascara and just see if there really does make a difference between the clicking motions and I will let you guys know how that works out. But thank you for joining me today on this quick chit chat get ready with me. And if you liked this video, please click the like button down below. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. Bye.